Hey everybody. So in this problem, they tell us a pilot is flying over a straight highway. He determines the angles of depression to two mile post, 5.9 miles apart, to be 30 degrees and 45 degrees as shown in the figure. So here we have a mile post A with a 30 degree angle of depression and mile post B with a 45 degree angle of depression. And we see that they are 5.9 miles apart. They want us to find the distance of the helicopter from point A and find the elevation of the helicopter itself. So if I'm looking for the distance from the helicopter to point A, I'm looking for this leg here. All right, so I can label this X. That's what I'm looking for. Now, there are a few things we can go ahead and fill in. We know that in a straight line, there are 180 degrees. So if I have this 30 degree angle of depression and this 45 degree angle of depression, that means that this angle in here will be the remaining angle that causes these three to add up to 180. So 30 plus 45 is 75. So if I say 180 minus 75, that gives me 105 degrees. So that's the measure of this angle here. Now, something you may not remember from geometry, but hopefully you do. If you have parallel lines, and I have a line that crosses through both of those parallel lines, that's called a transversal, which means that this angle and this angle are congruent because those are alternate interior angles. So if this angle is 45, this angle must also be 45. And the same is true here. If this is 30, this must also be 30. So now I should have enough information to find the value of this distance that they wanted me to find. So we're using law of sines here because we have enough angles to do so. So if I want to find the value of x, I'll need the value of the angle directly across from it, so 45. So I'll use my rule here and say sine of 45 over x should equal sine of any other angle over its leg value. Now, since I don't know this leg value, I'm not going to reference the 30. I'm going to use 105 and 5.9 here. So I'll say sine of 105, and this will all be over 5.9. So we solve law of science equations the same way we do proportions. We cross multiply. So here, this will be x times sine of 105 equals, we'll cross multiply again and say 5.9 times sine of 45. Now we want the value of x. So right now this is x times sine 105. So in order to isolate the x, we need to do the opposite of the operation here. So since they're multiplying, we will divide. So we will divide both sides by sine of 105. Now, this ratio is the value of x. When you're typing this in on your calculator, you're going to want to make sure that your calculator, its mode is in degrees because all of the angle references you were given are in degrees. So I will type in 5.9 times sine of 45, and I will divide that by sine of 105, and I should be getting 4.32. So x here. is 4.32 miles. So that's the distance from the helicopter to mile post A. Then it says, find the elevation of the helicopter. Okay, so elevation is height. So here, if I took the helicopter and I drew a straight line down, this is my height. So height always makes a right angle with the ground. So now we kind of have a new problem. So we have this right triangle, which represents our height. So we're looking for 
this leg. We now know the value of the hypotenuse because we just found x. So we know the hypotenuse to be 4.32. We also know the value of this angle because we found that earlier in the problem. That's going to be 30 degrees. Now to find the height is easy. This is a basic right triangle trig problem. We have an angle. We have the opposite leg given. So here we can write that. We know that this is the opposite leg and we know that 4.32 is the hypotenuse. So we need to think what trig ratio uses the legs opposite and hypotenuse and that's going to be sine. So we know that sine of 30 degrees should equal the height over the hypotenuse of 4.32. So here, if we want height by itself, which we do because we want the elevation of the helicopter, we have to isolate it. So we have to do the opposite of the operation that they're doing now. So this is h divided by 4.32, so we will need to multiply by 4.32 on each side. We have 4.32 times sine of 30. That's going to give us the height. And this we can do on our calculator. So 4.32 times sine of 30, and that's going to give us 2.16. So the height of our helicopter is 2.16 miles. All right, that's going to be all for this video. I hope that you found it helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments, and we'll see you all in the next video.